Hello, I'm Bob Howarth. I'm a professor at Cornell University, uh, Earth System Scientist. I've worked on climate change for, for several decades. Really pleased to be down here in North Carolina uh, today and being able to talk to people about um, how we can move your state forward. Uh, Duke, Duke Energy is uh, certainly sort of a holdup in their uh, view on climate change. Uh, my, my research has been on how methane emissions from shale gas development make it an absolute disaster for a, for a fuel. There's this idea that's been floating around for several years now that natural gas generally, but shale gas, which increasingly is where our natural gas comes from, is a bridge fuel that might allow society to wean itself off of coal but not make the complete transition yet to renewable energy, uh, allow us to continue to use fossil fuels. And the, the idea is, uh, has, has a little tiny bit of validity in it. When, when we use natural gas as a fuel, it releases less carbon dioxide than if we burn coal, for sure. But the problem is that natural gas is composed mostly of methane, and methane is just an incredibly potent greenhouse gas, more than 100 times more potent than carbon dioxide when both gases are in the atmosphere. So if we leak a little bit of, of that methane to the atmosphere when we develop gas, it, it's simply disastrous from a climate standpoint. The best research at, at this point suggests that up to 10% of shale gas is vented to the atmosphere, leaked to the atmosphere as it's developed all the way from well site to, to final use. And if that's true, and it looks like it is, then the greenhouse gas footprint of shale gas is, is more than twice that of coal. Absolute climate disaster. Uh, further, coming out of the Paris Accords, the COP21 meetings back in December of last year, the nations of the world said we need to keep the Earth well below 2 degrees Celsius, maybe down to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And it turns out we cannot do that by concentrating simply on carbon dioxide emissions. We really must reduce methane emissions. The, the climate of the Earth responds much more quickly to methane than to carbon dioxide. So if we're serious about using that protective temperature limit, and I think we should be because of irreversible harm to the climate if we go uh, higher than, say, 2 degrees Celsius, we really need to reduce methane emissions, and that means no shale gas. We need to move to renewable energy as quickly as we can. Thank you.